Hi guys, welcome to the new video of this Linux Flow series. In this video, we're gonna discuss the very important concept of the Reddit Linux. So normally we don't use this concept, but somewhere we have to use this. Okay, so the concept name or the tool name is RPM. Now RPM is a tool that is used to install the softwares. Okay, but uh, we're gonna discuss multiple few things. But before you need to know one thing, like in Windows, if you want to install some tool or some software, the file we will use is .exe file normally. So what we do there is like double click the file, it will extract somewhere, and extracting a software or extracting the files is means the installing a software now what does it means is software is nothing but a combination or you can think of like combination or the package or the bundle i can say the bundle of multiple files okay this is the meaning of software when we install a software those bundle of files or those files in a bundle will extract at multiple places like at in the etc or in the has been you can think of like that so it will extract in multiple places so this is not a concept of Linux only. Even though in Windows, if you double click the .exe file, that means installing a software. And software is a bundle of files. So that installing or double clicking out of .exe file, what will do is it will extract multiple files at multiple locations and in the C, in users, some in download, something like that. And another thing you need to understand is uninstalling a software means nothing but removing those files from those locations is meaning of installing a software. First thing. Second, in Windows, how we can install software is like double click in Linux. Like we have .exe in Windows, in Linux based distributions we have .rpm. Mainly in Reddit uh, systems we have a .rpm extension. That means the Reddit package management. Okay. So any software, if you see ending with a .rpm, that means that software or that bundle of files belongs to the Reddit Linux or CentOS. Now you don't have to focus much on this, but yeah .rpm means it's a software of Reddit Linux. Now how to install it? Like we don't have double click in something. If totally we are using a terminal based operating system, then the tool name also is RPM, that is Red Hat Package Management. As the name suggesting, we are managing the package. Now, what does it mean by package management? Like you can install the package or one more thing, package is nothing but a software only. Because you can say a bundle of files or a package of files, you can say anything. So package means like software, you can install it, you can uninstall, you can upgrade, update, multiple things you can do. So how you can do this package management, like how you can install, install or update, there is RPM. Uh, we are not using much RPM. There is another tool called YUM. Now, what are the advantages of YUM over RPM? We're going to discuss in this video also. But for the YUM, there is a separate two videos coming in the next few days. One is set up the YUM repository. Another is like the basic YUM cheat sheet. How the things we can perform using YUM. But this video is totally on RPM. Now, the RPM is like a software or a package management or it's a command to install or manage the packages. Now, the command syntax you all know is like RPM, command name, then options we have, then argument argument may be uh, the file or the software name now what does it mean soon you will uh, know or uh, what does it mean okay but before that the prerequisite in our system is like if you want to install some software that software file must present in our system same thing like windows only in windows if you want to double click and want to install some software okay so for double clicking we need dot exe file same way we here we need dot rpm file so let's see in your system we have dot rpm file or not so let me very quickly log in. Okay. So let's see. I have a RPM file or not? No. So I have at my another location. Let me copy that file to here. Okay. I have the file name with this. Correct. Now you can see. Okay. That RPM dot RPM extension file we have here. Now if you want to uninstall this software. Okay. But before that I want to tell you one more option of RPM. Like if you want to query, okay, if you want to query that software is installed or not in your system, installed or not, that means you want to query. So for that we have a flag called hyphen Q. So I'm what I'm doing is I RPM hyphen Q. Do I have HTTPD in my software? So HTTPD is just a software name. You don't need to focus much like what is the use of HTTPD and another thing. You don't need to focus on this. But let me tell you, this is the software for setting up a web server. But yeah, we have to give a software name. I given the software name and it's not installed. Now to install, what I can do is RPM. I'm using three flags and giving a software name. That means the dot RPM file. Now, what is the use of this three flags? I V H is so all you can judge is I means install. V means in normally we see in command like verbose. Whatever you're doing in the background, show me on screen. Okay. Third is H. That means show hashes. Whenever you're installing, show me the hashes. C. This is where I want to show the use of the RPM and uh, what I can say the yum. Okay, so you need to understand one more thing that HTTP is a software That means the package of files or a bundle of files 
so maybe those files are written in python language maybe some are written in c language or any language like go language so this package have a bundle of files or a package of files those are written in this languages programming languages so it happens or it not happens with another packages like this python file or this package need another software okay this need another software so we can say if this software need another software that means this http software is dependent dependent on software which software this another software maybe this another software is dependent on another software so it's a very long chain that's where the use of yum come up now exactly i'm not telling you the use but you can think of yum automatically okay yum automatically install dependencies in rpm we have to install them manually okay that is a major difference how we can see this in later classes in the yum classes but yeah this is the basic difference so for installing the software you may need another software that means dependent so what you can do is you have to install this software these are the system level of objects if you see uh, the third or fourth lecture i already showed you that so means the system level objects in the third or fourth lecture so what i'm doing is i am installing another software okay that can only be installed by the rpm the name of software is hadoop and uh, for that i'm pausing my video so so i'm not able to find that uh, hadoop software or any other software without dependencies so sorry for that guys but uh, the motto of this video is to just teach you on rpm basically so if i told you a basic example hadoop you can't install with the yum you can there are some plugins but normally you have to install with rpm and there are some option that force and something like that you have to use in that option first thing but there are many software that you can't install with yum that's where you have to use rpm so now let's begin with the motto so the next option i will tell you okay that you can install httpd and we are using one extra parameter here that is an odeps what is this let me hit enter then tell you <coughs> so what is this uh, no depths that means no dependencies so hyphen hyphen no depths is one of the option of rpm that if you want to install a software okay without any dependency like i don't want dependencies and other things to keep in mind so that's why you can use this option ivs i already told you so let's see another options also but before that let me tell you that http is installed or not now it's installed <coughs> now you want to query only you don't want to install in other things so we are using hyphen q option but with query also you want to see that the information of this software so we can use hyphen i option now you can see in the software name is this the version where you have installed multiple things like when the software is built what is the url from the software is coming up multiple things you can check so for that the option is hyphen i only so with q if you use i then it will give you info okay and simply hyphen i is giving you the install that's the difference keep in mind this while querying if you use hyphen i option then it will show it to you like what is the information of the software when it is installed when it is built multiple things okay now let me tell you the another options the next option i want to see or tell you is like <coughs> this l so l means list all the files as i already told you that one software or package is a bundle or a package of files basically i told you this thing <coughs> okay now to prove you this thing i am using this query query my software along with this list all the files list all the files that is installed or that is extracted in my system the software okay so this this many files are extracted to my system when i install the httpd software and if somebody knows about the http software you can grab that <coughs> one file is created in system when we install the httpd software i will let me tell you httpd c this is a file this is a configuration file of web server so it always install when you install the httpd now <coughs> next thing i want to tell you let's say you want to check the dependencies of the software so what you can do is you can query and this is the pr option r will tell you capital r that list all the packages on which this software depends http depends p will tell you the functionality of this http software it's saying no such file or directory okay why because you have to give the rpm dot rpm file see this many dependencies we have when if you want to install the http this we already saw in the last lecture so that's the option you can use the capital r to check the dependencies before installing any software that means of dot rpm file the next option i want to tell you of rpm is you can list all the packages in our system that is installed with the qa option i am querying to rpm command a means list all the packages this many softwares are already installed on my system if you want to grab somewhere here httpd see there is installed there is a the use of qa a a flag that how you can list all the packages that are installed on my system 
now if you want to check like like there is there are many there may be sometimes the condition that if you want to query you what you want to query is while installing you know multiple files are extracted okay because installation of software is nothing but extraction of a package of files or the bundle of files so you want to query like this files belong to which software so in rpm we have an option of rpm hyphen querying f f for file then i am giving apc somewhere we have file let me check the file location not this con file is here somewhere na? yep this one so what i am doing is i am querying that this file belongs to which software so querying the file then the file part okay that's it so it give you a software name now next thing i want to tell you the option the very last option that if you want to remove a software okay the what we can do is hyphen e e means it is a software then we have to give a call the software name stdpd so it's removed how we can verify q and the name of a software so that's how the rpm tutorial went out now we saw few things in this how we can install how we can remove the software what is the meaning of exactly a software what is package how we can install the packages and install your system multiple things we have saw how we can check the dependency what is dependency the main thing of this tutorial is rpm versus yum to show you the scenario when we are installing the http software we have we have used this okay this uh flag to like ignore the dependencies but there is not a way if you ignore the dependency sometimes the software will not work properly so if you install some software with rpm if that software have dependency it will fail and if you want to install you have to use this option of flag but there is not a good practice because at the end your software will not work properly if you don't install the dependencies so there was the use of yum come up now the next two videos will be on yum how we can set up a yum repository what is yum yum repository how we can use the yum commands but that's it for this video if you like the video subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon hit the like button and if you have a doubt you can reach out to me on linkedin or you can post your doubt in the comment box thanks for watching the video